Good morning everyone, it is Friday and it's 10 a.m. I don't have uni today because we had our first exam yesterday so I got the day off today and the exam went so well, I'm so excited about that. Let me sit down, I need to... I use this chair as my clothing spot and it's super annoying <laughs> because I, instead of putting my clothes away, I just move them from my chair to the bed and when I go in my bed, I move them back to the chair and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's quite messy in here. I need to clean today. Also the whole apartment, it's my turn today. So that's what I'm gonna do in like half an hour. But sorry, I've been rambling. I don't even know where I was going. But yeah, it is Friday, as I said, and I'm just gonna have a chill day. The one thing that I know that I wanna do is I wanna crochet a bag because I have a pair of jeans with me that I know I won't wear anymore. Uh, they were my favorite jeans for the past three years almost and I wore them pretty much every single day, but they have a bunch of holes now and it's just not really my kind of fit anymore since I've been wearing them so much I can't I can't wear them anymore uh, but I don't want to throw them away they're too beat up to sell like I would get nothing out of these pants if I sold them so instead I decided to make denim yarn out of it and make it back because I don't want to throw it away it's like still good denim it's just not wearable as a cute jeans anymore, you know? But other than that, we're just gonna take the day as it comes and probably most likely chill. Actually, that's a lie. I think I'm gonna go clubbing today. But that's still in the planning. finished cleaning and now I've just decided whoops it's uh, finally time to do my nails again I'm not gonna do like a crazy design I literally just want a gel layer on my nails so that they'll hopefully grow long so that I can finally have long nails again because ugh, I don't really like short nails so <laughs> we're just prepping them for the next month basically I just made lunch. Um, I had some leftover pasta, so I decided to make a very simple dish of just pasta and olive oil and garlic and chili and a few other toppings. And I'm gonna eat that now. Oh, by the way, these are my nails. So very basic, boring, but it looks already so much better than just my plain nails. So I'm happy I finally got around to do my nails. I'm probably gonna continue watching Grey's Anatomy and eat my lunch and then after that, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna start the crochet bag um, because I might just do that tomorrow. But yeah. Mm. This is honestly so good because it's so simple and like not overwhelming in flavors. So, so happy about this. Hello, hello, hello. I feel like I haven't talked to you in quite some time. It is now almost 7.30, which means that some of my friends arrive any minute now. Um, we are gonna be a lot less people than I thought in the beginning, uh, but that's all right. 
I just hope that we still get to book the Airbnb even though not everyone is here because I really think we should book it today if we don't want it to be too expensive. Oh yeah, I just got ready. If we do go clubbing, I will change because I don't want to go clubbing in a shirt. Um, but that is the update, I think. tired me um, we didn't even stay out that long I think I was home at around two a little bit later than that so it really wasn't a long night out but I'm tired let me tell you that much um, it is currently 2 p.m. I'm sorry for the door but I have my window open and it's maybe I should close it give me a minute but yeah I had a lot of fun yesterday um, and we also booked everything we need for our Athens trip so I spent quite a lot of money yesterday but I'm so excited uh, for the trip and just in general to be in Greece again so the plan for today is actually I want to sleep but because this room doesn't have any curtains it's impossible for me to sleep when it's bright outside so I can't sleep, so we might as well start the day at 2, whatever. I'm gonna start with my DIY project. These are the jeans. If you've watched my vlogs, you've probably seen me wear these a lot of times, but I'm just not wearing them anymore. Like I've tried them on two minutes before I started this, and I really realized the time of these jeans are over so we might as well use the fabric and just make something new out of it we're gonna cut it up and make some denim yarn out of it and once we've got the jeans cut up we'll start crocheting a cute little bag i think it could look very cute i hope i'm a bit scared honestly <laughs> jeans up because my hand hurts so much so I only cut up one leg so far so I have two balls of denim yarn and I thought I will just start crocheting and cut the other leg up tomorrow so yeah I'm just gonna do a bunch of single crochets and I'm not following any tutorial but if you want to do this back as well it's basically just a chain of however wide you want your back to be and then you just single crochet in the round until you have a bag. Okay, this is how far I've gotten with the bag. And I'm a bit scared that the yarn won't be enough because this is already one and a half balls of yarn. But we're gonna continue that tomorrow because I'm gonna go and meet my friends now at a bar. And this is the outfit. So, so yeah, I just had to wash my pants because I wore them yesterday and I put them on and suddenly this huge wave of beer smell hit me and I remember that yesterday somebody spilled their beer all over my left leg and even though my pants are probably gonna smell like beer after the bar anyways I just 
didn't want to already arrive there smelling absolutely horrendous so I just washed one leg of my pants and I had to and I had to air dry them what was it called? blow dry and I had to blow dry them and they're still not 100% dry uh, so I think it's gonna be a little bit cold going out in these pants but they're gonna hopefully dry in the next like half an hour so I think I'll be fine <laughs> morning it is sunday and as you can see it is an absolute beautiful day there are no clouds in the sky so i've decided to ride my bike to this lake it's behind me you can't really see and i've also brought my crochet stuff with me and i stopped at a bakery to get some chocolate cake so i'm hoping that we'll find a good bench to sit down and eat some cake and finish my crochet project I'm currently sitting on a second row bench. This is my bench and this is the bench I want. This one. So I've planted myself here on this bench in hopes that the man will get up any minute and I can steal his bench. Uh, but if not, it's fine. This bench is great as well. my hair I'm gonna take a shower after dinner but I just made myself food and I've made scallion pancakes and I absolutely love scallion pancakes I had them almost I feel like almost every day when I was in Taiwan and these ones turned out so good like... mm -mm -mm. and I also made some spinach in sesame oil and some like sugar peas is that how they are called? And also just like some sauce to dip the pancakes in. But yeah, that's my dinner. I'm gonna watch some Grey's Anatomy and then maybe I'm gonna crochet. I couldn't crochet while I was out because really my hands were freezing off. So um, yeah, if I find time, I'll crochet a bit tonight. If not, we're gonna continue tomorrow. You get to watch the game tonight. I do. I've got to go to some girls' night Cali in Arizona put together for Teddy. I have finished my bag. Well, almost. Uh, there are obviously no handles yet because I don't have any jeans yarn left anymore. Um, in fact, I realized I would run out of yarn pretty quickly. So I decided instead of doing a square and just crocheting like the same amount of stitches all the way up, I started to decrease for two rounds at about halfway through. So that way I could make the back a bit taller because there wouldn't be as many stitches at the top. But then, as I said, I ran out of yarn so I don't have anything left to do the handles. So I was thinking of using the seam from the inside of the leg because this is quite sturdy and I also don't think it's gonna open up. And obviously I could just sew the handle onto the back but I want like some rings, like some metallic rings to attach to the bag and then attach the strap to the rings. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna find some hoops for the bag, some yarn for my upcoming project and hopefully also a book for my weekend trip. So let's go. <laughs>
shopping trip, my semi-successful shopping trip, I did not find the little metal hoops for my bag. I think I just need to ask someone from my class where I can find like craft stores and like DIY supply stores because I don't think I'll just stumble upon these hoops randomly. So I'm gonna figure that out and hopefully I'll find motivation to go out again tomorrow and then just buy it. But I thought I would quickly show you what else I bought. I sadly also didn't, I'm starting off with the bad news, but I sadly also didn't find a book. I was honestly a bit disappointed. I didn't really find anything. And also the books here are so expensive. At first I thought it's because of like the curated little independent bookstore, which I get it. I love to support little bookstores. But then I also went to this bookstore chain, Books Sandy Day, I think it's called. And I expected the prices there to be cheaper, but I did not find a single book under 20 euros. And we're talking about thin little soft cover books, like not even hardcover books. Most of them were 20 to 25 euros. And I thought that was insane. But I did buy some wool, as you saw. So I'm thinking I want to crochet a top slash shirt. Um, and I want to make it out of a mix from like cotton yarn and mohair yarn because I really like the texture of mohair yarn, but that shit is expensive. So I thought I would combine it with normal yarn so that I'm saving a little bit of money. And then I finally went to a camera store because my little camera, my trusty little camera that literally does not break no matter how shitty I treat it, this one, my film camera, it just stopped working and I wasn't sure if it's the battery or if it's the camera that stopped working, but luckily it's just the battery. So I bought a new battery so I can finally finish up this film. This film is almost a year old. Like there is pictures from Dockville last year on it, which was in August. And then I also bought just a regular Kodak Gold. I can't find it right now. Just a regular Kodak Gold film. And oh my God, it's insane how much the price has risen for these stupid basic rolls of films. Um, I paid now over 15 euros for one roll of film. And I didn't even realize it because I'm still like, I know my random price, like, I know a certain set amount of prices, but when they hit me with a random number, I just get confused. And then, yeah, I just usually say yes in the moment because I'm just like, oh, okay, that's fine, I'll buy it. And then I do the math afterwards and then I realize I just paid fucking 15 euros for a roll of film. Anyways, that's all I bought so I can finally shoot some more film photography and just spend all of my money on that because what else should I do with it, right? I'm gonna go and watch some more Grey's Anatomy. I have started season nine, which is almost embarrassing to admit because I mean, I have, no, I haven't watched it for that long amount of time. So yeah, it's an obsession and it's not good, but what can I say? It's a good show, it's a good show. She can pick and we are gonna lose her. We can't let that happen. She is gifted and brilliant and I... the bag here she is in all its glory and I almost lost it at the end but we figured out how to how to put in the clasp I should have thought about this in the store they had different ones but I just knew that it was important to get the strap on the clamp and I kind of forgot that I also have a whole bag to attach to it 
So we had to open her up a bit. And I think the bag turned out so cute. Actually, I can wear the bag with like a shorter strap like this. Or I can just wear the bag like a crossbody bag with a long strap. And yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I am a bit concerned about how much it's still fraying and I'm hoping that after like one or two wears it will just stop with the fraying and that everything will set into place and the bag won't disappear basically. Uh, but I think it should be fine. And with that, I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, if you liked the video, don't forget to also give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you with a new video next week. Bye!